Thank you for joining rpay.org, which stands for Reimbursement Premium Adjusted Yields. Is nothing other than account-based healthcare where everyone has to have a health savings accounts so they can be empowered. You are empowered having your own HSA. It doesn't matter if you're a, you work for a small employer, large employer, you're a, you're a, you know, basically have your own business, self-employed. It doesn't matter, folks. You guys can do a better job, better job, self-insuring through HSA. You can still have insurance. Obviously, you have to have insurance, which could be low deductible, high deductible, before, depending on your affordable. I want to see consumers, consumers empowered in healthcare. This insurance, you know, this insurance is not your friend. Health insurance is not your friend. Believe me, they're working against you. They're working against you. I keep saying that because they're into their own. They want to make profits at the expense of you. Yes. They're not interested in lowering the cost. If they were interested in lowering the cost, they would be segmenting the health insurance into different categories, so like well category, at risk category, chronic illness category. They're not doing that, folks. If you're a well category, your premium should not. If you're a 30 year old trying to get a health insurance, it should not be more than 50 bucks, folks, because you never see a doctor. You never see, a, you know, you just go for a regular checkup and that's it. That's why we need to have common sense approach to the healthcare, which is consumer driven healthcare. Only consumers can lower the cost of the healthcare, no one else. Not the private markets, not the government. It has to be public-private partnership, folks. Public-private partnership under the Health Review Authority, they will, they will take care of the folks who can take care of themselves. My main goal through nonprofit organizations we need to help the folks who cannot take care of themselves. People who are denied health insurance. Those are the folks with pre-existing country. Those are the folks we need help. Especially when you talk about taking care of the people who can't take care of themselves, that's our number one goal, folks. It's the social response. You know what percentage of them are like that? Two to three percent, folks. Two to three percent. Instead of taking care of the two to three percent, they penalize average, like healthy folk. They penalize all of them. They raise the premiums because they have to take care of it. You mean to say government can't take care of the two to three percent of the people who can't take care of themselves? They give you a Medicaid card, which is useless, man. Useless. I want them to be taken care of by right means, they should get a private insurance. They should have insurance like anybody else. Don't label them as medical, Medicaid, just nonsense. We don't need all those. We need the right approach to healthcare. Folks, thank you for listening. We will see you in the next segment. God, God bless, goodbye, and salute. This is Consumers Dr. Bengala. Goodbye.